The Los Angeles-class submarines, better known as the 688-class, have been the stalwarts of the undersea capabilities of the U.S. Navy since their induction in the 1970s. Designed during the Cold War, these nuclear-powered fast-attack submarines were designed to counter the Soviet submarine threat and protect carrier battle groups. With advanced stealth, speed, and firepower, they've remained very central to U.S. naval strategy, especially with escalating tensions against rival powers such as China. But the Navy finds itself in a tight spot while planning to retire the submarines without having sufficient replacements in the pipeline. How the U.S. Navy solves this dilemma? Despite their proven effectiveness and contributions to national security, many Los Angeles-class submarines are now aging and nearing retirement. The Navy built a total of 62 of these vessels, but only about 24 are currently active. As the service looks to transition to the Virginia-class submarines, delays in production and budget constraints have raised concerns about a potential gap in attack submarine capabilities. The Virginia-class is intended to replace the Los Angeles-class, but construction setbacks mean that not enough new submarines will be available in time to fill the void left by retiring vessels. This situation poses a risk to U.S. maritime dominance and could embolden adversaries. The operational advantages of Los Angeles-class submarines are clear. They are equipped with advanced sonar systems, torpedo tubes, and Tomahawk cruise missiles, allowing them to engage multiple threats effectively. Their stealth capabilities make them difficult to detect compared to larger surface vessels like aircraft carriers, which are becoming increasingly vulnerable due to advancements in anti-access area denial technologies employed by rivals such as China and Russia. The cost-effectiveness of maintaining submarines versus aircraft carriers further underscores their strategic importance. A Los Angeles-class submarine costs significantly less to build and operate than an aircraft carrier. Given the current geopolitical landscape, retiring these submarines prematurely could shift the balance of power in favor of adversaries. The Pentagon has expressed concerns that without sufficient numbers of attack submarines, U.S. naval forces may struggle to counter growing threats in critical regions like the Indo-Pacific. This has led to calls for either modernizing existing Los Angeles-class submarines or transferring some of them to allied nations like Australia, which could enhance interoperability among allied forces while extending the service life of these capable vessels. The dilemma surrounding the Los Angeles-class submarines highlights broader issues within U.S. naval strategy and resource allocation. As the Navy grapples with budgetary constraints and production delays for their new Virginia-class counterparts, it must carefully consider how best to maintain its undersea capabilities. 